The name of our project is Digital Business Marketplace. This is a phase two of the catalyst that we did in Nice. The project is really about enabling product managers to put together easily an ecosystem of vendors and solutions to provide industry specific solutions in the market. So the main challenges we're looking to solve is it's extremely difficult to bring together the wide variety of vendor solutions that we need in order to provide a vertical specific solution like a smart retail or smart manufacturing solution. It needs uh, a whole ecosystem consisting of like, cloud services, various device manufacturers, uh, communication provider services to easily onboard these, to provide these in a self-service digital way and to be able to orchestrate uh, from the ordering to the billing of all of these vendor partners and solutions um, is the challenge that this Catalyst is trying to address. This is our digital B2B marketplace that we have constructed in the Catalyst. It consists of a number of vendor uh, solutions that we have from cloud providers like AWS, from uh, physical devices like a Palo Alto firewall, network connectivity services like the Nuage SD-WAN service, and traditional service provider services, connectivity services, like from British Telecom, they have MPLS and LTE service. So then what we have had is uh, a vertical specific product manager, in this case, Smart Retail product manager, has assembled specific offerings for the retail industry. So we have a video surveillance service for a new store, which includes a camera, includes connectivity service for the wide area network, the Nuage SD-WAN service, includes a Dell CP for running these services, includes a private LTE service for connecting the cameras in the store, Cloud Connect for connecting the cloud and the video surveillance service. So if you have a retail customer can go in, one click order this bundle, can select a number of devices based on the store, enter a number of, a few parameters associated with the bundle, put all the uh, products that we need uh, for the video surveillance service in the cart, and we can go proceed to checkout. And then I can proceed for the shipping, which will be shipped to our location here at the TM Forum site. And then the purchase is now complete and that order is sent to the backend systems and we should soon see the device being onboarded and being made ready for service. So we have a, a secure device onboarding here for the devices which are on-prem. Uh, uh, this is the infrastructure for SD-WAN on-prem with a private LTE and on this side we have uh, IoT devices, uh, gateway, cameras, routers which are on-prem. And these are all enabled with SDO. SDO, the device manufacturer uh, configures the device for SDO, ships it. The ownership voucher is registered into the target platform, BT in this case. And uh, the device powers on and connects to SDO service, finds out who's the owner and then onboards it. Here in the, uh, in the shopping cart, we have selected this device and I'm going to submit the order of this device. And this device is going to, uh, order is going to get processed and uh, it will be shown so it will basically is now ready uh, uh, to get connected to the crowd so the uh, you know the order processing is happening we got the serial number it's ready to get bootstrap the package is getting created and the package is now ready uh, for uh, the device to come online so i have this gateway which actually i'm going to restart as if i'm powering it on and on this screen, I am actually going to give the command to restart. It's actually restarted. As part of the restarting process, uh, it'll get uh, turned on, and there'll be animation here that the gateway is turned on, and it is connected to the rendezvous server. You can see the animation here. Uh, it's going to authenticate with the rendezvous server, and uh, uh, that authentication has got completed, and now provisioning is happening. Uh, once the database provisioned, uh, it's going to uh, you know, onboard to the DMS for, for BT. Once the onboarding is complete, you can see the arm will move and pick up this Intel logo and move it. And we'll also have sensor data streaming and, and we can see that on the other screen. So the, the onboarding is actually complete and the 
control action after the onboarding is happening and, and the device is actually sending uh, streaming data. It actually came online here on the screen. You can see there the device is onboarded to the BT DMS and uh, it's also going to start sending steaming data which is going to come live onto this uh, screen. Uh, I'm holding the temperature sensor and you can see the humidity and temperature going up.